Governor Rick Snyder joined federal and state leaders on a Detroit street today to lead a demolition. You can see the heavy machinery behind them. They tore down several rundown abandoned homes on Turner Street in Detroit. It's all possible because the U.S. Department of Treasury approved $100 million for anti-blight efforts in Detroit, Grand Rapids, Pontiac, Flint, and Saginaw. Governor Snyder says tearing down abandoned homes in Michigan cities will have a ripple effect and improve the entire state. As I've traveled Michigan, you go out and talk to people, most people understand we're all interlinked, we're all in this together. And if we can see our cities coming back, that will help economic growth throughout all of Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell spoke to people who live on Turner Street about how this program is affecting their lives. Scary. That is the word that describes how India Davis feels every time she walks by abandoned homes here on Turner Street in Detroit. Today, her fears came crashing down. Overall, this is Governor Snyder. Federal and state leaders announced a plan to use 100 million federal dollars to tear down blighted homes in five Michigan cities. The woman who lives in this home with a one-year-old son says every night when she goes to bed, she worries that the abandoned home next door will be set on fire. It's happened before, but as of tonight, she no longer has to worry. It, it, I'm just happy, like I'm overexcited that they're doing this because take a lot of worries off of us. Business leaders say this will lead to more investment in Detroit neighborhoods. City leaders say it will improve property values and help increase tax revenues. And police say when these homes come down, opportunities for criminals are torn down. I think it'll be real safe because you don't know you could have had, you know, squatters, could have found a dead body, you know, anything could have happened. And with my daughter, I don't want her to expose, be exposed to that type of stuff. It's great. Why? Because, like, you got burnt down and stuff, and it was affecting my asthma, and I have much room to play. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.